Hey guys, take a total video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your a problem where if you're unable to activate your eSIM on your iPhone, is occurring whenever you're trying to activate your eSIM card maybe for the first time or you're just trying to move from one phone to another and you're getting this message. And there's a couple of reasons why you're getting this message, but we'll show you how to fix it really quick. So when you get this message, basically most of the time that we've seen, it's because if you're moving from one phone to another, the phone line is, or the eSIM that you're trying to activate is still active on another phone. So if you have an old phone, you need to first remove it and then do a network reset on this one. So in order to do that, what you'll do is, in order to do that, you'll go, of course, you'll probably have another phone. And in this case, I have another iPhone, for example. I'll go ahead and click on over here and then go to cellular here. And if you have an eSIM set up, it will say delete eSIM right here. Or if you have different, carriers it will be listed and then you want to select one of the ones that you want to move over and then click on delete so it's going to look something like this where if you have a eSIM set up it's going to uh, show up here and then you're going to go there and then delete eSIM but it will show up either there or right under here again the same process will follow and then you'll just click on delete and it will delete the eSIM from that phone now that it's removed you can activate it on a new iPhone, but before you can do it on the new iPhone, the one quick thing you want to do is a network reset on the new iPhone. So in order to do that, you go into your settings, you want to go to general, and then go all the way down here where it says transfer reset iPhone, and then under reset, we're going to do a quick network refer reset, and then we'll put in our phone's passcode, and then before you do this, basically this will remove things like saved Wi-Fi password, any Bluetooth connected devices, so you have to reconnect to all of those, but again, it's essential to fix this problem. So click on that, and it should be pretty quick, it takes about maybe 30 seconds or less to do a quick network reset settings of themselves. None of your personal data will be deleted with this process, so you don't have to worry about your photos, videos, apps getting deleted, all of them will still be there. So. As you can see here, it went completely black on us, so we're just gonna wait till the Apple logo reappears. And after that, we should be able to go ahead and activate our eSIM if you're uh, transferring over your eSIM card. So as you can see here, we'll go back in, put in our passcode, and then you go to, into your settings, and then go to cellular, and then set up cellular, and then you can follow the process to activate the eSIM which will be probably a QR code or if you have the phone nearby so if you have a QR code all you'll do is let me give a QR code here so if you have a QR code all you'll do is scan the QR code just like that and it hopefully by now will let you activate your eSIM card so that's about it so I hope this video was helpful if so please hit the like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time